Hey everyone, what's going on? My name's Chris and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Um, first things first, that is a giant tornado. Um, <laughs> this is, <coughs> excuse me, this audio is being re-recorded. There's a body right here. Um, so essentially my program I use to record my commentary, uh, it froze in the middle of this so I lost it. Try my best to recover it. Didn't work. Um, so we're just gonna have to post commentate this. Uh, thankfully, nothing incredibly reaction worthy happened in this episode. How can I get out of here? Spoilers, <laughs> kind of. So that that is a very good thing. I'm very happy this didn't end up. This didn't happen on the finale. So uh, the program I use, Audacity, has been pretty faithful for me from the past like 2,000 videos. But I'd say maybe four, five or six times it's failed on me, and this is just one this of those times. This makes me so sad. So uh, yep, yeah, let's let's uh. So let's pretend like we're actually playing the game, shall we? So uh, we got a sprinkler, we got a newspaper, we, we got a flyer. Yeah, so I mean, we gotta make it through. At this point, by the way, I have finished the game. Um, I might as well give you guys a little insight right now. There's gonna be 46 episodes. The last one being, if I, everything goes to, to uh, schedule here, last one should be on April 30th. Okay. So look forward to that. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. So, uh, there's a man panicked in this room and he can't get out because fire and stuff. So let's, let's save him, shall we? Don't fail the fuse box. I mean, you think look at that fuse box. It, it should fail, right? Like, look at all these wires everywhere. That shouldn't work. No. And he's dead. Great. He's dead. Electrocuted. <laughs> um, I'm also sick right now. <laughs> At the time of you recording this, so I'm, my voice might sound a bit nasally. Probably sounds very, very nasal. I'm trying my best to talk, to not have that show, but uh, yeah. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock. Yeah. So this puzzle he actually not hear me. took a little while for me to figure out. So it didn't like it didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> Although it's pretty obvious. I'm gonna wander around here looking for some L's. You know, you're gonna die in this room if you're not careful, we can fisherman. Make it what can I do here? Mm. Let's pretend like I still don't know what to do. Mm. I guess it would be smart for me to just cut out part of this. Oh, I just love how you can see a tornado no where where you go. That's gonna be so terrifying. Alright. Well, let's, uh, it didn't work the first time. Fail me, fuse box. Let's try it again, shall we? Oh, I'm not gonna try it again? Okay, I thought I did try it again. Uh, I'm recording this a couple days after I recorded this episode, so that as well. I don't remember exactly don't what I did. <laughs> Surely it'll do something different this time. It won't. I want to help that fisherman, but I'm uh, gonna try to skip. No, I can't do that. Not hear me. Oh, I'm sure here you fine. This might be the end. Puzzle solving with Chris 101. Okay, I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Yep. Which kills him. And I was like, well, what the heck? That kills him. Why would you even say that? I know what happens. But I could skip over it. So I was like, huh. Oh, Interesting. No. So if I could skip over it, it's something that the game intended for me to see multiple times. Oh, no. So what can I do? I'm sorry I sniffled. I gotta blow my nose. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna mute my microphone, you guys. It's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. happened and my voice is like two percent more clear now <clears throat> so uh what do you do now mm. oh there we go past chris you silly butthole -yo. how could you be so stupid no more storms, no more storms. hello sir come on you have to get out of here right now yes yes it's just walk that fire uh, I need air. also there's like a little it's like an open uh, spot above him, please, so it's like, please. why the heck couldn't he climb up there? I guess he is kind of a little bit panicked, but it's like you'd think, you know, he would try to climb up over it. You should get out of here. Yeah, no kidding. The whole town is dying. Yes. Okay. I think better hurry to the diner. Right I don't look back up, but I think I, I looked back at him earlier. Well. Way out. So for the lo longest time, I thought this way was. Um, Optional. I just thought, ooh, I found the secret, but no, I don't think it is. I think that I actually had to go that way. Ooh, look at that train. Oh boy, there's a car there. Was that Ward's car? 
might be Warren's car with the with the wrong door color on it. <laughs> Look at the whale diner. It says die. Oh god, that's pretty lame. <laughs> Look at this. There's whales everywhere. I don't remember if I pointed this out last episode or not. There's like some some stuff on the floor here that I didn't realize. And oh, everybody's dead. <laughs> See me shake my those? No. <laughs> I was like, what the heck do I even do? Come on, man. There we go. Stop that fire. The sand right there. Please let the sand put out the fire. Sure. Chris was like, what the heck are we doing with the sands? But it's because there's gasoline on the ground. That's what lit yes. the first time. It's still pretty unsafe though. That fire could still hop over that pretty easily. With one tiny scoop of sand. Look at that. This tornado. That's why I looked at it again because I looked. I was clearly looking at the newspaper, but for some reason I considered my click to be on the way. B and E. Look at the newspaper now, please. I was like trying to click on it. Well, let me. The monsters are actually the people here. Uh. So if you guys want to read that, go ahead. <laughs> I had to read it because it's like, well, that's a lot to read. And so much of it. Oh, there's a dead officer. What? What? Don't know if you knew that guy or not, but uh, he's there. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought it said Warren. No, nope. but there's Warren. The Warren was peeking his head out the window. Look, he's Warren. I don't know if you noticed, but everyone's dying. You could probably stop being a cashier now. Look, the homeless spotted girl was a lady there. Oh, she's not. Yay! A... I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. See, and my thought process was, well, she might still be there. She just might be squished by the car. <laughs> you know? Nobody knows. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. You this would, is not no way. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding Go get him, Juliet. Whoa, whoa! Except the no more because Juliet did. Maybe. I don't know. Did we see Juliet? I don't know if we saw Juliet or not. So what the heck are we gonna do it here? Max. Frank's here. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? No, no. Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. No kidding. In fact, it just exploded. It's gonna make it through this tornado. It's not. Oh, poor Office Ferry and all those people. Oh, no. Okay, get I don't know if that's the officer I saw dead. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Warren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Uh huh. Are you okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow, the well, eclipse. Even Nothing if you didn't. You could do about it, yeah, exactly. I'm There's so the way. Stupid. Should have seen it coming. Well, okay, even a saw it coming. What would you have done with that information? Warn everyone. Everyone just be like, "Uh, no, you're an idiot." Gosh. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No more music. No. No. no I'm just a place. No more music. Party is over. This vortex. Hey. Is much bigger. I guess that's some extreme uh, foreshadowing, isn't it? The vortex. The tornado's a vortex. Kind of, I guess, right? Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. <laughs> yep, those supplies will definitely heal everybody in this town. It's fine. Look at Warren. Always trying to help. Mm -hmm. Good boy, Warren. Good puppy. It's good to have Frank on our team. Yeah, it's okay, weird. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. It's weird that he's here, but I guess he always comes Frank, to this diner anyways. I'm so glad you're here. That makes two of us. Oh, if only I had Papa do that. What? And Rachel. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you Papa and Chloe find out what happened to her? Well, no point lying to him. Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Oh, no, she is. Please. please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. Mm -hmm. 
And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! It's a lie! I should you never have hooked that. up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. No point lying to him. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Overdose. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? Well, I The only way himself. Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. Yep, taken care of. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Mm-hmm. I know. Hindsight. She obviously cared about you, Frank. No, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the yeah. one time Looks I like met find her. dad. The bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to... Enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're good. <laughs> but you're cool. So it really makes me think. How different would this conversation have been if uh, I did not make friends with Frank and... You know, business. trying to be nice to him. It says Pompadou. I don't get the whole Pompadou thing. Everybody's back. Come on, Max. Because we heard Let's Pompadou after he was hit by the car or truck or whatever. Some rest in space. Like, because got hit by the Joyce, vehicle. How are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Where's this conversation. I. <laughs> that hesitation. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up someplace safe. I'm oh, sorry about, about David. All this Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. <laughs> I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. That's not true at David all. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I know. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I clearly don't like, I I really get what she meant by that. I want our lives to be normal again. That was weird. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Oh! David saved yeah. my life. From Look at that, not even hesitation. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He was just really bad at by putting cameras in his own house. Family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Ah, blow over her. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. Yeah. I know Even he if he's really bad, show you once again. And Chloe. I know. 
And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. Aww. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. So, it's weird with Pompidou because Pompidou got hit by the truck, and then... I can't seem to um, escape crap, 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 I was this before you get to another conversation. And, and then, like, we went to Frank's home, and then you heard Pompidou in the background, and he was talking to Pompidou. Jesus. This is like, oh, Pompidou, how this happened when, like, you know, he got shot and stuff by me in the leg. But, and then he says, if only Pompidou's here, Sam, considering he's dead. You. So what? But I am so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Yep. Should have done that a long time ago. Probably. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. And just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... <laughs> now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. We never I wish I would have. To him. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I oh, had a vision good. in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? No. no. I, uh, I don't know if I started the storm. So. Jefferson already killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something more. Oh, yeah, my mouse stops Max. moving here. Going back in hey, time is what you. caused the storm. How do you know that? Because, because of me? There's no way he could possibly How? know that. I'm not a real scientist. Or me. Even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Oh, yes, he did. He used Nathan yep. to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. With my unmoving lips. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. No, I want to kill that son of a bitch. No, no. Where is he? David already Busted. did that. I stopped him. History, which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. I don't understand how this works. You know. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? See, I, I find this unbelievable. I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person, not not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or magic a worm, science. you're part hey. of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason, and I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? Mm -hmm. And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. It's really Always. sad, too, because this conversation isn't going to even really happen. Because now we're going to go back in time through this picture. It's so bittersweet, you know? Choice. Focus on the people here. Was that it? 
Oh, never mind. There's okay. The only I had my palm to do with me. Oh, I thought we did something else here, but never mind. <laughs> Anyways, we're at the end of the episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Sorry, this is post commentary. Like I said, nothing really crazy happened. Next episode, I believe, is when crazy stuff really starts to happen. Um, so yeah, next episode, we'll go through the picture and crazy stuff will happen. Thank you all for watching. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you guys next time. I'm making sure I'm not going to do anything else here. It doesn't look like it. Okay, bye bye.